today's news, Hua Yang speaks on alleged tiara bullying. On a recent episode of the Korean TV show Taxi, Hua Young went on and explained why she left Tiara and the reason was bullying. That is what happened on the TV show, correct? That is what happened on the TV show and then she cried in her room for like two weeks after she left Tiara because of bullying or so she claimed. The Taxi show that she was on was a recent show though, right? Yes, it was very recent. And this reopened a whole case can of worms that we have all been speculating about. Maybe we haven't been actively speculating about for the last five years. Those of you that watch our channel regularly, you know that we both try to give as much information as possible. But disclaimer on this video, there is in no way a 100% guarantee that we are going to be able to provide all the information on this particular controversy because in reading about it, you are opening a black hole of information that goes in so many different directions with different websites claiming different things and all sorts of information listed with photos and explanation. People just tend to take sides. I was reading one blog post, for instance, where this person is just religiously claiming that she wasn't bullied. I'm not saying she was or she wasn't, but then there's this other website where you can read and the evidence is clear that of course she was. And then if you go on their Wikipedia, it's not mentioned at all. So could you please explain to me what information you found? There's a whole lot of information. It could write an entire drama. It is probably the biggest bullying scandal in K-pop land of all time. So if you don't know Tiara, it is a K-pop group that was founded in 2009 that has interchanged a lot of its members. And these members that I will be talking about were there for a period of time that ended around about in 2012. So all of these situations took place in 2012. And the main girl, Hua Young, that I'll be talking about, she actually was in the group for a total of 20 months. So a very short period of time. She is now a rapper and actress and she's done a lot of acting stuff recently. Was she one of the original members that debuted in 2009? No. She also has a twin sister, which is important for this. And her twin sister's name is Hyo Young, who was a former member of Five Dolls, which was a part of co-ed school. So Hua Young went on taxi and she's claimed that she was bullied. So everybody went online, not everybody, but a lot of netizens went online and started attacking Ji Yun who was another member of Tiara at that period of time, who there were some crazy photos and stuff that looked sketchy and there was a whole little Twitter feud that went on for a short period of time right before Hua Young left, where Ji Yun actually called her out and called Hua Young an acting genius. Why would you call her an acting genius? Because the big ankle controversy that started this whole show bizzle. All right, that is the part that I read about. I guess that they were at a concert in Japan. She hurt her ankle on the first song of their performance and then had to leave the stage afterwards. I did not find that. I found that she injured her ankle. I don't know how she injured her ankle, but she had future promotions and practices in Japan. They actually had a performance on July 25th and 26th, but prior to the performances, She'd hurt her ankle during the practice and promotion time, so they had to change everything because if you have an eight member group and one person leaves, you gotta rethink all the choreography, all the staging, everything has to change. Instead of going to practice and actually participating, she went and got her nails did. So she might not have been able to dance, but she could at least have been at the practice helping them rearrange the choreography from eight members to seven. I imagine her input would have been very valuable there. And since she's part of the group, she should be there anyways because she's getting paid like everybody else. Yeah, and she also was acting very strangely and playing up her injury in front of the cameras. She had gone to the hospital and they claimed that it was okay, it was a mild injury, but nothing serious. So she went back to the hospital and came back with a cast and it just seemed really unusual, really strange, and she wasn't being a team player, which is why a lot of her teammates, her fellow idol members in Tiara got really upset with her and her management company has come out and said since then, one of the former members of the management company has said she got fired not because of this whole bullying thing, but she got fired because her behavior was hurting teamwork. Oh, she got fired? 
Yeah, she got voted on July 30th after 20 months being a part of Tiara, but only like July 30th. So four days or so after the concert was over, she got booted because of all of this. Cause she wasn't a team player. She wasn't showing up to practices. She was getting her nails done instead of actually being there. And she wasn't trying and putting on the right attitude that she should have. I don't personally have enough information to decide in my own head whether she was or was not bullied. I cannot in this video say anything about that directly. But what I can say is that I did not know she was fired. And if she's going on to a TV show claiming that she was bullied years later, after she was fired, I could see if she left and if she were to give some explanation at the time that something was not right and I'm leaving or I therefore want to nullify my contract. But that's not what this sounds like. This sounds like she had no choice when she left and years went by and maybe there was some sort of uncomfortability on her part, whether she didn't put enough effort in or she thinks she put enough effort in and other people perceive that it wasn't enough effort or she did maybe make, I mean, because people make mistakes and therefore it's possible that she did go get her nails done, for instance, since that's what we're talking about, when she should have been there, that would be a really big misstep on her part. But she could go back to the members and say, listen, I'm really sorry about that, please forgive me. And there could be some reconciliation reconciliation on all the members parts but if the entertainment company decides to let you go it kind of discredits a little bit what you might say afterwards and especially if it's years afterwards i'm just saying yeah why'd she wait for five years to actually come out with this and say this and and make a big oh boohoo woe is me statement because really She's got a good career now. Why is she going backtrack and like retouching on these old damaging things that are only going to potentially blow up in her face? It does really make you curious if you're one of those thinking people, was she told to talk about this or did it just pop into her head at one point while the cameras were rolling on the TV show? I mean, was this premeditated and they said, okay, we're gonna talk about this and we're gonna ask you this and we want you to talk about if you were bullied or did she just spur of the moment think, oh, I'll mention this and it'll end up putting me back in the news or I don't know, just catching people's attention. The other caveat to this story was this whole Twitter and social media war that went on not only with her, but with her sister. Her sister being a twin got all upset. She was like, oh, they're bullying my twin sister, blah, blah, blah. She's losing her job. So she started attacking other members of Tiara most specifically Arum, which she went on and wrote this whole conversation, which I'm just going to summarize very short because it's a very long thing. Was this recent, by the way? No, this is also five years ago. She said things like, um, I'm gonna hit you so hard at Music Bank that dust is gonna be flying, so just wait. I'll scratch your face so you can't be on the broadcast. Ha ha ha, wait. I'm not gonna be a singer, ha, huh, so just wait. Dogs only learn when they're hit. Bitch, just wait till I catch you. Yeah, keep tattletailing. That's what the twin sister wrote? Yep. Comments down below, you guys. I am sure there are some of you watching that know more than all the information we were able to cover in a roughly 10 minute video. But please let us know what you think of her bringing this back up after so long on this television show recently. It was definitely hard to find all the information and try to cover it all because it's five year old information. And even that it's a lot of he said, she said, or actually she said, she said, and it's just so, ah, uh, cat fight. Bullying is to be taken seriously when in fact bullying is happening, happening. So nobody wants to claim that that's not what happened here, but there is a lot of confusion. So let us know what you think down below. Click the like button while you're down there. Thank you so much for supporting us. Click the bell for notifications. Check out the sale to kgale.com and don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood back news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.